All right, so today we're going to talk about finding time to practice. You're busy. I'm busy. We're all busy. We're all busy people here. So how do we find the time it takes to practice and improve our skills? Well, let's start with number one, intermittent practice. And I talk about this all the time. You don't need to take four hours out of your day to practice the guitar or the piano or your vocals. You just need to find 15, 20 minutes a day on most days of the week. That's really it. If you make efficient use of your practice time, then these shorter duration practices will actually do a lot more for you than longer practice sessions that aren't as consistent. And if anything else, you can at least find five minutes a day. Five minutes. I mean, I don't care who you are, you have five minutes. Give up five minutes of your sleep at night, and before you go to bed, go pick up that guitar and practice one thing on it for five minutes. You can do that every day. Make it a habit. It doesn't have to be a big uh, to-do, you know. Just run and grab that guitar. Um, one of the things that I started to do as, as I was too busy, because life, life can get crazy sometimes, so I found myself in a situation where I really was working long hours, multiple jobs, and had a lot of responsibilities on my plate, so I felt like I didn't have any time at all. So what I would do is I would just, if I passed by the piano, I would try to learn a new song and just tinker with it for like two minutes. Because I could always find two minutes during the day at random intervals. You know, you pop some food in the microwave, go bang out a song, you know? If you're working on a particular song or a scale sequence or something like that, it really shouldn't take you more than, uh, you know, a minute or two to just get a section down. you got to break it up into small sections. Okay, if you're working on a particular scale sequence, work on it in just one position. And it should just take you a minute or two, and then you got it down. And then walk away. Go do whatever you got to do. Come back to it. Again, spend one or two minutes on it. Try to remember it again until you can play through it. This works great. It works great for me for learning songs. Because I'll sit down for maybe a minute or two, go over the chords real quick, get a general idea of the progression and the intervals, and forget about it. Work on something else. I'll come back to it later. Again, just go over those the chord progression again. Real quick. A couple minutes. If you do this several times throughout the day, you'll be amazed at how like quickly you actually just start to get it. And it becomes easy. So that's a very powerful method of practice. Is those short, intermittent bursts. The other thing is and this is a big one. If you really want to take your life into a new direction and uh, really start to, to go places, you find opportunities of practice where normal people would not. And let me give an example of this. I, I had a work from job, work from home job at one point, and I found myself like on my lunch break, I would go sit at the piano. You know, I was tied to a desk all day long, answering phones. It was customer service, and uh, so I was tied to that phone. It was not fun. 
It wasn't like I was just lounging around at home surfing the internet and getting paid for it. No, I had to be sitting there with the headset on in front of the computer. You know, I felt like a, I had shackles around my ankles. And it was frustrating. I did not enjoy it. And during the, my lunch break, I would go sit at the piano and try to learn a song or two. But I always felt so rushed, like, oh, I gotta be back, I gotta be back by, behind that computer within an hour. So the whole time I'm just worried about how little time I have to practice. If you find yourself doing that, then you're not alone. But what I quickly realized was, first I realized that I was spending my lunch break on the piano because it was right there. I could just pick it up and I could play it real quick. The guitar, I felt like I had to plug in, I had to tune it up. By the time I did all that, I wouldn't have enough time with it anymore. But I really wanted to learn some songs on the guitar. I had just joined an, uh, another cover band at the time. And so I had a lot of songs to learn. And I felt like I didn't have any time to learn them. So, But what I realized was that I could take the guitar up there and play it in between phone calls. So, because every now and then I would get 30 seconds or sometimes up to two minutes between phone calls, incoming phone calls that I had to answer. So I would take those one or two minutes and just, like I said, quickly figure out a chord progression or run through the chords real quick or just get one little section of the solo down, you know, just the intro or whatever. Really that's all it took, you know, just a couple little minutes, 30 seconds here, a minute here, two minutes there. And then what I found out was that a lot of times, once the learning was over, and I'm just sitting there noodling around with the stuff that's already kind of programmed into my subconscious, I could really practice that even while on the phone with the customers, and they would have no idea. Yeah, I wouldn't be plugged in. I would just be sitting there with a the guitar unplugged, the electric guitar unplugged. So I was able to accomplish a lot during that time period. So that's taking advantage of a situation. And it's not always obvious like that. It might seem really obvious, but it didn't occur to me for a long time. I think it was several months into it that it really dawned on me that I could be doing that. Sometimes these opportunities will present themselves as a challenge. For instance, I worked at this um, really noisy paint shop. It was a dirty, hot, noisy paint shop. Because these are some of the things that you do when you say, I'm a professional musician, and but I have to work a day job to pay the bills because I'm, I'm not getting any gigs right now. <laughs> the, the, you know, this is real stuff. So you got to take some of these jobs sometimes where it's just like, okay, this day job for a little bit, help get me through. Well, that's what I did. I, was, I drove a forklift. And the place was loud. And I was having a hard time talking to people, projecting my voice. I was sitting there just yelling. And I couldn't yell. My voice would crack and it was getting broken and I was getting choky. And uh, it just wasn't working. I was yelling, losing my voice, which is not good for a singer. And then uh, it dawned on me one day. I thought about the vocal training that it had and resonant tracking and when you're in the proper placement for singing and you get vocal full compression it rings out a lot louder with more resonance with less effort and it worked I could suddenly talk louder people could hear me better and it was not taxing my voice at all so then, naturally, I thought, well, since I'm going into twang vocal mode, I might as well use this to sing. 
So then, while I'm driving this forklift, I'm operating this forklift for eight hours during the day, instead of just wasting that time, I started singing on the forklift. I would get myself in a twang vocal mode and run through my vocal exercises. Nobody would really hear me because it was so loud in there. And uh, I was able to practice my vocals all day long and uh, even write songs. I mean, I'd sing just about random stuff. So, again, I worked there for a little while before they even dawned on me so all that time was wasted I could have been practicing that whole time so sometimes these things aren't so obvious but if you open your eyes to them there are opportunities to get practice in it, during times when you may not think about it you know and, and a good clue like I said to find those opportunities is look at your challenges like what's really bothering you where's your biggest challenge for time right now and a lot of times you'll be surprised like your opportunity is actually hidden within that frustration and if not well you know keep your eyes open you'll find a solution but they're out there you can either say I can't find the time to practice or you can say how can I find the time to practice? And just throw that question out there to the universe. And just wait and see if suddenly it's not answered. So those are just a couple tips on how to practice, how to find time to practice. And uh, watch some of my other videos where I'll talk about how to maximize your practice time and make it more efficient. Uh, because we're all in this together. So if you got any suggestions, any questions, comments, leave them below. Um, let's help one another out and let's get more practice time in. I wish you the best of luck and I will talk to you later.